Paul Campbell, leader and conductor of the band the Chesapeake National Quarries Cordettes. Dalton? With me is uh, Paul Campbell, the arranger, conductor for the National Quarries Quartets. Beautiful performance there, especially of the excerpts uh, from Romeo and Juliet. But as, um, you, you really perform in relative obscurity during the non-festival years. And as polished as this band is, why aren't you in the limelight more often? Well, what happens is that our area, like most areas in Trinidad, do not cater for the steel band during the off-season, as we might call it. You see, they cater for the steel band more around panorama and more around festival. And after that, that's it, as far as the steel band is concerned. Now, coming back to Romeo and Juliet, is a very difficult piece uh, maintained throughout intensity, the highs and lows, the emotions, uh, because it's a love story, and, 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 and you did it beautifully. Um, what difficulties did you encounter during the rehearsals? Well, the difficulties were mostly moods. You see, the moods, the varying moods and trying to get the players to understand what story they were telling musically. So they, they know the story? Yeah, they know the story very well. Why did you choose the piece? Well, because I liked it. I liked it. Yeah. Okay, finally, Kunapo Vibes, uh, which is your composition. Yeah. Does that present a trend uh, when I'm talking about uh, Boogsy Sharp and Jit Samaru? They also come with their own compositions uh, in the Calypso. You think that will be... Um, you know, a trend in the future, especially in Panorama, mm -hmm. steel bands when composing their Panorama efforts? Well, it could very well be, you see. Now, if you have to play a tune and they say the tune is, is supposed to be um, by a pan man, well, a pan man composes a tune. And then, now, I don't know if many people realize this, that many pan men can compose tunes. Once they get in the air, they take what we call a little zig or a little course, and they could put something together. So you could have thousands of tunes coming out from the steel band. Okay, thank you very much, Paul Campbell. You did sang your grandy proud and the rest of the nation. Thank you again. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, back to Mike and Maurice Connor.